the snowflake templates you can print off either onto card and paper and make your own template or you can print directly onto some background card or paper that's what i've done with these underneath here now you've got them in various sizes now this is the first one here as you can see and that creates that wonderful 3d if you want it more 3d all you've got to do is fold those a little bit more and you get more of a 3d look there with those so that's your large one then you come down to this next one here and you can see all the different just by changing the papers you can really create different effects it's got some lovely like gold bullion effect on this one another one here and going down smaller is a little uh, star and then you've got this one here with some big stars on nice blue and you've got some lovely little twinkling stars on this one in red you've got a little bit of handmade paper down there you're getting smaller and smaller a little bit of gold glittery kind of card and then finally you've got this really small one and i'm going to show you now how easy it is to make those templates so there's there's my printed piece of background paper there you can see the design on the edge there. Now you can see you've got straight lines and you've also got dotted lines here. Dotted lines are where the folds are but then it's always good to score those with a blunt instrument and I've got an embossing tool here. You can use anything that's blunt, not a scalpel or anything like that. You don't want anything to cut through the paper. This is so that when you fold these it'll go exactly where the fold you want it to go and it'll just make everything look really geometrically correct. So just go around and wherever you've got a dotted line, score it. The template has now been scored. Now the first step is just cut the whole circle out as carefully as you can. circle out next what you have to cut out is these straight lines down here now don't go into the dotted line because you need these to fold perfectly so if you can just get your scissors down the center there of the straight lines and just cut through those now I've cut through all of those straight lines so you can see how that's falling apart now up around the edges so to speak now all you've got to do is fold these sections in first, these kind of triangulars, these sail kind of triangular sections. So just again, because you've scored it, it should help you fold perfectly. And we're going to fold all the way around here. Now this in itself creates a nice, a nice kind of star. See, I didn't do that very well. So you've got to do just pull it back and just find that score line and fold that down again. Just keep going round and fold over there like so. Now I said that could be a nice design in itself and you've got that on the other side. But what we're going to do is open that up again. Just open those up and then you've got these score lines that are in the middle here. All you've got to do then is fold over again one more time. So you've got that fold and then turn around and do that fold. And you can see they're overlapping perfectly. It's so simple to do this. If you keep that slight bend in them, it gives you that kind of full, full bodied star, uh, a bit more of a 3D look to it. When you get to this section, just lift that up, crease it here first, concentrate on the crease first, and then the alignment, alignment up there so it gets there perfectly. And again, lift this one up, concentrate on the crease on the inside, just press it down with a finger or two. Let that just fall over the top, bend these just a little bit more and you've got the perfect 3D full-figured star.